So here we are doing another update on the 1954 Fargo converting to electric. It's looking good, Brian. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, it's been a couple of weeks since you did your last video, so I got quite a bit done. Um, yeah, it looks like it. Well, you remember last time there, uh, I had issues there with trying to get the wires through the top of the box. It wasn't working. Yeah, I remember you throwing yeah. the parts away. <laughs> yeah. It was hilarious. Man, this is uh, this is the this is the uh, the solution. It's, it's not the best, uh, but it, it works. It's clean, and uh, we can always revisit that later on. But yeah, I got. Mm. Uh, I just basically took the, these wires through the top plastic in the uh, in the battery box there, and uh, you can see I haven't got this bolted down right now. But you can see, I don't know if you can see oh, it. Yeah, that's there. a good shot. Yeah, yeah. so we've got, uh, I've got all my bus bars uh, tied on there. Uh, to, so all these batteries are connected. So you don't want to lick your fingers and touch the mm -hmm. positive and negative at this point. <laughs> Zap. But uh, right there at the back is my negative most post. Okay. So that's where the negative is hooked up to my uh, controller here. And the other wire, the other cable there is all of the uh, negative wires for a lot of my components there that I wired up last week. You saw on your last update there that I had installed these two units. So that's my charger yeah. and my DC to DC converter. Yeah, you're getting the wiring all so, cleaned up. Yeah, and... I had the wire. So I've got the main cable there for the charger hooked up. I still have to uh, hook up the actual plug. And uh, this is for communications. Um, but the DC to DC converter is fully connected now. So I've got my uh, power wires to the unit and then my output wires. And they, uh, they're routed down underneath the motor so I don't yeah know if I don't think I'll be able to see there. that but yeah they're, they're running parallel underneath the truck and then they come up the other side here and then I've got them hooked up to cables here uh, before it goes into the contactor box and uh, the, this, these, this one that's left here is eventually for hooking up the heater uh, unit because I still have to uh, fabricate some sort of a, a shroud for the factory heater uh, box in the truck okay so this will be the connection for that so that's ready to go and uh, yeah, so then the, the rest, the, the actual contactor box is completely wired up inside there now. So anything else that needs to get connected to that is going to be connected to these remaining pigtails that are sticking out the bottom. Mm -hmm. So that's going to be a job for another day. Uh, you can ignore this one. This is just the 12 volt stuff. That's my headlight harness and stuff. I did that a while ago. Headlights and taillights. Right. That's completely separate from the EV side of things. Um, but yeah, I started running some wires uh, for hooking up these pigtails. I'll do that another day, like I say. Um, and beside, behind you, you got the box, eh, for the yeah, that'll rear be the battery? Yeah, the rear box, yeah. But uh, yeah, the only other thing I did up front was I fabricated the master oh, switch okay. box here. Yeah. Um, yeah just, just for, right so now, when you're working on things, you yeah, kill it? Kill it. And when it's on, you, well, other way around there. But it's off right now. But if you switch it on, that connects the rear battery box, the front battery box, everything to the contactor box. High voltage, a bit zappy. So we want to be, uh, be able to switch that off if we're ever going to be servicing any of this equipment here. So that's how we would do that. And then this is my main fuse, the high voltage fuse, before it goes into the system because everything needs to be fused. But yeah, so that's where I'm at with the back at the front end here. Um, been doing the last couple of days a bunch of fabricating to get the rear battery box because remember we had 20 batteries at the front and 12 batteries at the back. So uh, just finishing up doing the, the box, the battery box for the rear end here. So i got to clean up some of my uh, gorilla welding here and then uh, this has to be cleaned up and painted and sealed mm -hmm. and uh, yeah this this battery box is unique from the front in that it had to be done in such a way that we could actually remove the battery box if the batteries ever needed service because by the time that this truck's put together so the bed's on top the of bed's it on top, and the yeah we can't get at it this out is yeah. if we actually you know, drop it out from under the truck. Mm -hmm. So the way we've done that. Is. I've got the front one bolted in, but the back one's not quite done yet. I got a couple of captive uh, sh uh, sheaths here. And uh, it lines up to be bolted to the frame. And then the box itself actually comes up. Like this on a jack of course because it'll be heavy yeah don't hurt yourself there. man <laughs> but it comes up like that slides, slides onto this back mount and then jacks up with the floor jack and lines up with these bolts here okay i was a little smarter with this one uh, as opposed to the one at the front there i made this box a wee bit longer so i can actually get the cables so eventually i'll put some holes in this side yeah so you have some a cavity cables. in there to to run the wires? Yeah, get some room in there to run the wires and then the batteries will literally slot down in here. 
and uh, yeah, so th they'll be nice and snug, 12 batteries. A nice fit. All the way through here, yeah. And, uh, and then they'll be strapped down as well. And um, yeah, so the cable will have a negative and a positive cable from the front. And uh, yeah, the, just the BMS cable. So I get three holes I've got to put in this to run some cables. And that'll be done. Right on. And I'll be finished fabricating because I'm sick of welding at this point. <laughs> yeah. Uh, this is just some of the uh, 12 volt wire there for hooking up the 12 volt system of the truck to the high voltage system. So that's for another day as well. I got my BMS system uh, sort of mounted in the truck right now. A couple of holes to drill in the floor there with uh, some pass throughs for conduit. And uh, that'll run under the truck to the front and to the back here for controlling the battery as well. So. Well, it's looking really good, Brian. It's coming. Now, Brian's crimping and heat shrink 2 watt wire. is using this big bastard to cut the ends off but this one's already cut nice so I don't need to cut it but yeah I would cut the end off because a lot of the other wires were kind of naff like that so I would use the use these guys to sort of cut the ends off the, this thing first without actually cutting any of the strands right That's some heavy duty wire, eh? That's, uh, some heat shrink. Some heat shrink. And this guy, this one, actually that'll fit over the top, so it should be okay. Okay, it fits on like that. And then this big mugger. So this is hydraulic because there's no way that using a regular set of crimpers that I would get enough of a, a crimp on this to be safe because I don't want these things coming apart. So this applies a ton of pressure. Mm. And then, there we go. And we end up with a real nice that not coming off. So I like to do like crimp the top and the bottom of it rather than just the bottom part there. So okay. I'll do that again. Up top. And release the pressure. Yep. There we go. So you crimp it twice. That can go over the top, and then I need to run and grab my heat gun. Water tight. Mm -hmm. so that I can identify what cables for what and I'm super forgetful like the rest of the time so well, it's good to put positive on positive <laughs> yeah and negative on negative all right and then this guy is battery positive what, you got a little decal or something yeah I got a little label here a label positive all right and then this thing will get orange loom on there to signify that it's a high uh, voltage wire and we're done
I'll run that on the truck now. That's good. <laughs>